My name is Ottilene Liza and I am Professor of Plant Development at the University of Cambridge and I am also Director of the Sainsbury Laboratory at the University of Cambridge. One of my heroines is certainly Barbara McClintock who um, is a plant geneticist like me and did extraordinary work to understand these bits of DNA that move about the genome, transposable elements. And the thing that I really like about her work is the linkage between kind of different levels of organisation. She's looking at the outcome of these genes moving around, so she's looking at spots of different colour on, on maize kernels, but she's also looking down a microscope at chromosomes and how bits drop off them sometimes when these uh, uh, um, transposable elements move around. And it, it's that vision to connect together those different levels of organisation that I find really exciting about biology. And she, is a very inspirational figure from that point of view. She's an example of somebody working entirely on plants who won the Nobel Prize um, uh, when there is no Nobel Prize on plant biology, there's only medicine and physiology. So. One of the things I think is harder about biology now is there's so much of it that you tend to be presented only with the kind of fait accompli at the end and then people don't get the excitement of discovery in the way that they're taught. They get to memorise a bunch of things that they think of as, as rather um, kind of faceless facts, which I think is a real shame. The advice I usually give people is don't take advice. It's a tough <laughs> career, there's no doubt about it, it's competitive and all those kinds of things, but it's a wonderful career that it's so satisfying and exciting to be able to work in this area and to, to try to understand how, in my case, how plants grow, which is an extraordinary thing. And uh, so people are endlessly coming with, with careers advice about, you know, how you have to work with a famous PhD mentor, or you have to you know, pick a topic that is in this hot, sexy area. And I don't like that kind of advice. I like figure out what you really love, and then it's much easier to find a way to do it, because, because your priorities are so clear that if you encounter a barrier, um, it's much easier to find a way around it if you know ultimately where you're going. And when I say, you know, find a thing that you love, it, it can be quite a general thing as well. It doesn't have to be, I would like to be, you know, president of this by the time I'm 26. That, that's not the idea. It, it, it's more to understand what you find exciting and to find a way then to, to make that your job. It, it's just, it's, well, it's so lucky to be able to have your job and your hobby is pretty much the same thing.